Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, uh, I did not have this pop up. Uh, I'm a little shocked that this popped up. Um, I bring bad news, Traveler Entity. Our fleet has been involved in a serious incident, sustaining heavy damage. Please inspect the damage report. I require your advice. This is the first time I've ever seen this, period, so I'm curious. Fleet Auto Diagnostics Report of the Frigate CV-5 Azaki. Ship has sustained mission critical damage. Crew are incapable of performing maintenance. Further damage risks catastrophic failure. Well... They're going to be gone for a while. I can't risk it. Recall the frigate. Command registered. Frigate CV-5 Azaki returning to main fleet for maintenance. Okay, well. That done. I was off doing other things, getting ready for the next recording. While I was sitting there and then getting that. Uh, apparently at some point by the time I got back. That was jarring, to say the least. I wasn't expecting that, but, uh, okay. Uh, it says that there is a science, ooh. There's some science officer I can get on this station, but I also want to check out the ship, because this ship looks, oh, it's purple. It's black and purple. That's actually kind of a cool color scheme. And it's pretty, pretty big. It's a fighter. It's bigger than my current one. But I couldn't afford it even if I tried. So let's not do that. Unfortunately, to be fair, it's also not my favorite colors anyway. So it works out. Anyway, away I go. And now we're going to try and find that science officer. Uh, scholar Entity Izov. Maybe you? Nope. Entity Provide Data? Um, sorry. I thought you were someone else. That's my bad. Uh, Atlas V3 pass required. Okay. I met 40 aliens, thus I'm famous. Interesting. Didn't know that that was how many I needed to meet. Okay, um, anyway. I need to find that science officer dude. I just don't know which side he'd be on. If he's not over there, then he must be over here. Interface entity... Code Entity, Scientist Entity, maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. Ahem, Corvax Entity help? The lights in the life forms casing are wide and dim. As they turn to talk, their, masks, their mask becomes momentarily blank. They swiftly come back online, but I can't help but feel that their piercing gaze is that of a different entity altogether. Huh. Okay, so you're not it. But it is supposed to be someone who's Corvax. Priest entity? I don't know. I don't know what you were talking about. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, geologist entity? I don't know. I'm just going to talk to every Corvax in this place. Corvax Convergence speaks blank entity, blank traveler. Multitude of processes appear to be working within the electronic life form. Their lights flash quickly as they direct one of those processes towards me. Okay. Analyst entity Rescuvinic. I don't know. I have no idea what you just said. 
Okay, well, I am lost. I am extremely lost. I have no idea who this entity is I'm supposed to be talking to. Maybe you? Nope. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. What about you, code entity? Nope. Okay. I have become aware of a faint buzzing noise. As I approach the Corvax, I realize the noise is coming from them. A constant faint hum, alternating in frequency. It does not stop, even when they speak to me. I'm kind of curious to learn some more about the Corvax. Technology symbol. For ship. Interesting. Okay. Practice language skills. Um, unknown. An inquisitive tone sounds from the code entity Rusenyev, as though they are encouraging me to say more. My ensuing silence prompts a look of pity and a gift of some navigational data. Okay, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Have I talked to you? Yes, I have talked to you. Have I talked to you? Yes. I have no idea who I'm supposed to talk to. Entity took... Do not be blank. Okay. I've met 45 aliens. Okay, cool. Interface entity. No. I've already talked to you about something, I think. No, I didn't. It was like you, but not you. Okay. Analyst entity. I haven't talked to you. I lightly tapped my microphone there. Trying to scratch my shoulder. Um, sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe in here? Is there people in here? No? Damn it. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> Where am I supposed to go to talk to the scientist entity that apparently is on this station, but I don't know where they are? Ah! It says there... Mate, look over there. It says potential scientist is over here. There's no way they're all the way at the edge of the frickin' thing. There's no way. That doesn't make any frickin' sense. There's no way. That literally makes no sense. That makes no sense at all. Ooh. That does kind of look like my ship. Now that I'm looking at it. Scientist is open to trading and discussing the sale of their ship. The Master of Clouds. Huh? It is bigger than mine. But, it costs a lot more than mine. Okay, well. It's unfortunate, but it is a good looking ship. Okay, where is that scientist dude supposed to be? Clearly not here. I just don't know where he's supposed to be. Don't you? Okay, that might be what's wrong. Uh, game might have glitched. That might have been what happened. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Not often that I run into something like that. It says that it's on planet. And then when I head out, says it's back over there. Oh, it's mostly harmless. But there's my frigate that needs to get repaired. I need to make sure to get that taken care of. And land where I can try to fix it. Oops, it But the, It won't even let me... 
kidding. You're kidding me. Okay. It's, it's really not letting me do the things that it's supposed to let me do. Okay. Woo! Okay. Alright, let's head off and do this. And let's try this again. Whoop, okay. And it broke. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, then. That is a bug I don't know how to deal with. I, um... Gonna get on to the capital ship. And then I guess I'll reload? I guess that's the only option I got, so... Okay, I'll, uh, I'll be back, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna head out and try some things again. Now that I've reloaded. At least reloaded the save. I'm really hoping I don't have to reload the game, but might be an option I have no, uh, no of real power to control. Oh, there we go. Now it's actually letting me land. Aye, our vessel is failing. It cannot endure long in this state. Help us, traveler entity. Help us repair this damage. Duh, I'm going to do that. I made you come back just so I could fix it. Mark the damaged component. All right. Wow, there are a lot of damaged components. One of them being right here, which is nice. Okay. Beautiful. All right. There's a couple of them down further than that. One right there, and then one over there. Okay. Damaged cargo pod. And it'll just... There we go. Get that settled up. Nice. And then... The other component was... Engine core. Oh, that looks cooler from this perspective. There we go. And then we get this one repaired. And then... Flop! And done. Beautiful. Alright. The frigate is repaired. that done. Access the mission log and hire a base scientist. Okay, I will be doing that hopefully without shenanigans in a second. Oh, 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 okay, that was unexpected. Those bonks. But but it's taken care of. Alright, potential scientist recruit. It's on the space station. Hopefully now it'll tell me where he is. Yep, now it does. Alright, so that was clearly a bug. What happened there was clearly a bug. I don't know why that happened. I'm not sure if there's a way to repeat what happened. But... Here we are, heading to... The scientist entity who I need to talk to. 
Scientist entity Yuzhe. Unknown life form. I passed my test. Hey! I am free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have a base, a science terminal? Think of all that might be done. The Corvax is happy, overjoyed to see me. They seem to have just completed some rite of passage for their species, necessitating them to go out into the universe and pursue their interests. A scientist offers to join my base if I provide them with a science terminal. Well, I can easily do that. Oh, hey. Think not of payment. Scanning you while you sleep will be reward enough. Creepy, but okay. All right. Well, since that is done, I'm going to head over here, see if maybe the multi-tool thing refreshed. Just out of curiosity, because I need something better than what I currently got. It did. The Herald of the Ancients, 7P. Mmm. That is pretty good. But I unfortunately cannot afford it. <laughs> Son of a bish. Okay. I said bish. I said bish, Reggie. That doesn't count. Besides, late in the episode anyway. I can swear as much as I want. Ha 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 ha. Anyway. Moving on from that. We shall get onto our ship. Get back onto the frigate. Beautiful. Whee! All right. And that puts us at... Pretty good. Whoop. Oopsie doodle. Why am I flipping around? Okay. Trajectory had to be corrected, I guess. That was what it was. Oh, well. Oh! oh, oh. I wasn't expecting to have a ship go through me, but here we are. Alright. Alright. Well, with all of that done, we can now head off. Oh! oh. <clears throat> I was so close. So close. Not quite. Not quite there. Now I can talk to that scientist. See what else I need to do. To help them and to help our overseer. A fine base, traveler. As, of course, befits your honorable status. Oh, Corvax shall be so happy here. The Cormax is brimming with enthusiasm. Neither their shell nor the walls of my base seem able to contain them. Welcome. Honor to witness the monolith of the traveler. Honor, but please, Corvax, contribute. Take these blooper take these blueprints. Lubricant and acid. Liquids close to Corvax hearts. I'm sorry, what? Lubricant and acid? Welp, I learned two things. Advanced agricultural products of acid and lubricant. Right. Totally normal things. In agriculture. Traveler, harvest marrow bulb and Corvax will do more. We'll create plan for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Corvax will also clean windows while you are gone. The Corvax is desperate to please, showering me with praise and offers of assistance. They tell me travelers are to be honored, raised above all others. What have I done to earn such esteem? The scientist requires marrow bulb and cobalt, materials found underground. They will be able to use a substance to craft blueprints for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Joy! Our home will be light and our windows will be clean. Interesting. 
talk to the secretary again. No need to delay, friend. The data is waiting. All you have to do is seize it. The overseer talks sense, as they always do. There is little reason to wait here when there is so much to do out in the world. Agree to hurry. The overseer bids me farewell, happy to see me busy about my task. Interesting. Okay, um... Got a search an abandoned building, and then return to the scientist with what I have. Uh, do I have marrow bulbs? No, I don't. Do I have them anywhere? No, I don't. Interesting. I thought I did. Okay, now, now it's telling me to gather, gather marrow bulbs. Okay. So, I guess off I go to do the thing. Alright. Run down the stairs. And jetpack the rest of the way to my ship. Whip. Ow. Most of the way. Okay, and away we go. Okay, so they said I can gather them underground, so it doesn't matter any planet, I'm sure. How's the base? Make sure you hire a few staff with it. What are units for if not to assert dominance over your fellow life forms? But on to more important things. If you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. We can't have you dying out here. Not yet, at least. You can find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironic, really. The same structures the Sentinels destroyed will lead to their deaths. Trade in these nanite clusters with merchants and space stations to get technology you need. Alright. Oh, and one last thing. Take this personal force field blueprint. You're going to need it. Consider it a gift, my little investment into our partnership. Hmm. On activation, this module draws power from exosuit life support systems to overload the multi-tool, distorting the electromagnetic field around the user and creating a powerful personal shield. While this field offers substantial protection against incoming laser fire, the user is advised that the multi-tool cannot be used for other, per other functions while powering the shield. Hmm. I was going to say purposes, but technically that works. Okay. So, if it doesn't matter what planet I'm on. I'm guessing I could just do it on Iguchi pretty easy. So I'm just going to fly on over there. I don't need to install that thing because I don't know how. Okay. They're like freighter, huh? Is it on the other side of the planet, maybe? Huh. Well... Technically said derelict freighter, so I thought it was on the planet, but I guess it wasn't. Oopsie doodle. Okay. I've gone a little bit haywire. There's the abandoned structure that I needed to search. Okay. Well, if I'm going to be going to the abandoned structure anyway, I might as well do the collecting marrow bulbs and cobalt at the same time. I don't see why not. Hmm. Yupped a little too hard with my limeade there. I apologize. <laughs> Didn't mean it for it to be that loud. Okay, the approximate location of the abandoned structure is around there. So I just need to look for a building in its general location. Well, I mean, this counts, don't it? I would assume... Definitely looks abandoned. Yep, this is definitely the one. 
I was correct in my assumption. Which is always nice when I am. The odds of it being right is usually pretty low, so I gotta take the <laughs> gotta take it where I can get it. Ah, Gek Relic, okay. And what do we got in this one? Viking Effigy. Okay. Fair enough. This place has a lot of whispering eggs around it. Um, to the point that I am uh, a little nervous. Well, since I'm here, I guess. Get these taken care of. So why not? Alright, beautiful. Good enough for me. Let's head into this very destroyed building. Well, at least it's given me my, uh, Giving me my protection back. Oh, I don't have it on me. I'll have it in my freighter, don't worry. Damn it. Alright. I left it in my freighter. That's fine, I guess. I guess. It's annoying, but it's whatever. Okay, get all of that. Fantastic. And now that I have gotten all of the loose ends, as well get thing out of the Forsaken Terminal here. Just covered in goop. Ew. Growth. What we got? User identified. Terminal active. Accessing schematics. The place the overseer, the overseer, the overseer has led me to has long since fallen into disrepair. Its panels are buried beneath the same oily pulsating fauna that I have seen before in long abandoned structures. The air is fetid and damp. I power up the terminal with little hope of success, but to my surprise, it buzzes noisily and springs to life. My overseer's intuition has served me well so far. I shall have to trust that these schematics contain the required data. Cool beans. In that case, we're all good. Hmm. That is... Gross looking. Very gross looking. Alright. Time to get out of here. Alright. Heading up. And out. Actually, you know what? I forgot the thing that I was planning on doing. Because I am an idiot. Which has been documented. I'm a documented idiot. This is known. This is very well known. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, very well known. Okay, um... That seems like it would go underground very well. So, I shall land here. And plop. Good enough. Well, might as well mine some of these things. Because why not? Dihydrogen is always necessary. Always. Cool. Ah, I picked up some phosphorus while I was doing it. Beautiful. Hey, hey! How about that? Um, there's the marrow bulbs I would get. Cool. What's this? Okay. All of these seem to be pointing upwards, and the upwards ones just give salt as well as cobalt. I'm trying to avoid that. Oh, for crying out. Try and get 
most of this out of here. Okay. I'm gonna get that marrow bulb. There we go. Hey, there we go. One that just gives me cobalt. Because I don't need salt right now. Not as much as the game seems to think I want it. I don't need it. Currently. Okay. Break these crystal fragments up. There we go. Beautiful. Now, let's see. I need to acquire 17 more marrow bulbs. Not 17, 13. Close enough. nothing. Damn it. But these give me something. Something I can sell, which is important. That give me nothing. Damn it. Okay, so I need marrow bulbs. That much is clear. I just don't know where I can get more. Is that one? No. Balls. Alright. Well... I'm just getting bounced around here. Nope. Not what I need. Not what I need here either. Okay. So, I guess we just need to push on through to this area here. What we got? Oh! Hello there! Nice. Very nice. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Silly me. Beautiful. Alright, just need to get a little bit more marrow bulb. I still have no idea what this is. Nor why I can't do anything with it. But... Neither here nor there. I guess. Ooh. I've never identified this mineral, but the mineral is moving. That's weird. But it gives me iron, so I'm gonna take it. Cool. Alright. Gave me a Geo to boot. Alright. And that gives me that. Fantastic. Also, there is a big dihydrogen crystal here. I am not going to leave without it. I am not an idiot. Might as well get some more ferrite dust while I'm at it from this creepy looking thing here. Beautiful. That gives me pure ferrite. Okay, is there any more of those creepy things that give me ferrite dust? Because I have a feeling I'm going to need more. Nope. Okay, never mind. Ooh, I will take that though. Cool. Oh, got more of them. Okay. All right, all right. I know. I know. But I needed to collect all of them. Because I am that kind of person. They're all useful materials. I say, why not? All right. Hey, how about that? Another one. Hmm. I don't know. Eh, screw it. I'll just mine one of these and then I'll be on my way. Perfect. Whee! Get out of here. Back to my ship. Where to put my ship? There's my ship. Hmm. Kind of curious. Ah, oh, there is a buried mineral, mineral formation. I can talk. Really, I can. I just don't do it well. I'm kind of curious. Just a little. About what might be in the mineral thing. That's all. There we go. Well, that's not the one I wanted. Those were not the buttons I wanted. <laughs> there we go. Alright. 
Beautiful. Build that. There we go. And let's just go with that. Mining all of these up. And we'll call that good. Fantastic, even. Uh... Huh. Floating crystals, huh? Well, now I can't turn that down, now can I? Especially since they have glowing minerals themselves. Okay, there's that. And there's this. Cool. Alright. That gave me three currently. I'm going to break these open real quick just so they're making more space for other things. Like that. And that. Hmm. How about that? Can't turn that down, now can I? It's all very good stuff. Alright. And now we get out of here. Cool. Away we go. Whee! Heading back to the ship. Our capital ship. I'm going to do it proper head out into space and then pulse engine our way there that way. That's the word I was looking for. Whee! Well, since they're all clustered in the same general spot, it's fine, depending on which one I'm pointing at. Whoop! Okay, alright. Well, I'm stuck. I'm stuck now in my ship. I goop. Yep. Goofed up. It goofed up. It goofed up. God damn it. Okay, I am stuck in my ship. God damn it. Did it again. Uh, did it again. Okay, this is a problem I've had before. Oh, jeez. I'm stuck completely in the ship. There's no way out. <laughs> God damn it. There's no way out of this. Oh, man. I know, 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 just stop. Oh, come on, let me out, let me out. Come on. Oh, Jesus. All right. Okay. I'm going to have to reload a save again to get out of here. Uh, and then I'm going to have none of what I just did <laughs> pass over. I know, I know, don't worry. I get it. Unsafe trajectory. I'm in the middle of a ship. There's nothing more unsafe than that. Okay. Did I fix it? No, nope, I did not. Okay, I'm stuck. I'm just outright stuck. There's no way. There's no way out. Okay, alright. I think they got it. I think they got Ha 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 Somehow, magically magically I managed to fix it ha huh. okay I was actually getting concerned there for a bit <laughs> I didn't want to lose all the progress I had just made in getting myself <laughs> all the stuff necessary for all of the other things just to then have to go back and do all of it again I'll take it. 
better than getting stuck in the ship. Bye, I guess. Okay. All right. Okay. Time to get up. Up. Mm. Every single time. I get so close, and then I run out at the last possible second. Every time. All right. Scientist entity. Traveler, I've prepared your blueprints, but please hurry. Something has happened. Korvac seems changed from the happy soul they were on my departure. They are fighting their worry, trying to stay focused on their promise to me. All right, let's give this to them. Korvax leans forward, anxious for the rest of the materials. Give Cobalt. Korvax has completed the tra have completed the plans, but Traveler, they have... My people have abandoned me. As of 104.32 seconds ago, I lost the hearing, the sight of the Korvax convergence. Hey. Wow. I now can make a large refiner. I'm okay with that. I don't think I have the large refiner learned yet at all either, so that works out. I seek immediate re I seek immediate reconnection. Go to this transmission tower. Enter my soul. Discover what is wrong. Help Corvax with solitude, please. Scientist entity Yuz He is deeply upset, claiming that they have been disconnected from the Corvax hive mind. The scientist asks me to take their personality core to a transmission tower for analysis. Core removed. Entity offline. So I'm just carrying the scientist's soul right now. Is that what you're telling me? Reconnect the scientist to the convergence. Okay, that's a ways away, but I guess I can try. Let's talk to the secretary. You are back. I am so glad, friend. I will extract the storage blueprint as soon as I have the data. It is good to see the Gek is so invested in the success of our home. They are clearly happy to see me, energized for the task at hand. Here is your blueprint, as promised. A trivial task. Their code was just sitting there to be manipulated. Wow. I learned all nine of them from one to nine. <laughs> Other than the zero I'd learned private previously privately without help from these guys. I should let the get get on with her business. Okay, I'll let the get get on with her business. Okay. I guess the only business I can help with is the, the scientist entity. But now it's telling me return to the overseer again. Things are going well, friend, but it will not be long before violence follows us here. It is inevitable. If I had some microprocessors, I could steal a march of, um, steal a march on fate. Yes, I would design a weapons terminal suitable for a Viking armorer. The overseer asks me for microprocessors in order to design a weapons terminal. The scientist should be able to assist with the task. Uh, I already have the thing for microprocessors. Secretary McGain has been helpful so far, and I have no reason to distrust them. I shall find them the microprocessors they need. Well, I have them in my pocket, actually. I trust our new Corvax friend was helpful. They are merely the start of our merry band. Are you ready to take the next step? The Overseer asks for some microprocessors so that they can finish the plans for the weapons terminal. I have them right here. You have done so well, friend. I am so very happy. Ha-ha! A weapons terminal with chromatic metal and pugnium. Hmm. Interesting that that's required. 
So I'd need to fight some sentinels to make that work. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now, imagine this, friend. A life form displeases you. You punish it, reward it, reshape it. In time, it would do anything you wanted. So it is with so it is with the sentinels and their attacks, but no more. Now we shall train the trainers. The overseer requires me to kill sentinels and bring back their pugnium. Sentinels have harried me the length of my journey. We shall be free of their constant harassment. Absolutely. Absolutely. But that's going to be the next episode because currently I am at the end of this one. But first thing first, I need to check how this is going. Oh, it's done. <laughs> well then. The Uchima's mirror is now back. All right, ground crew found large mineral deposit while exploring. Iridescite. Okay, cool. We got Corvax casings too. Okay. Iridescite again. Azaki was recalled home for repairs. Huh. Crew member attempted to access classified trade data. Performed unauthorized override of ship's archive. Ship AI turned hostile, shorting out core life support systems. Ah, that would explain it. And then we got some units. And then a system that had nothing really of value. Alright, let's end the expedition then. Cool. Got a whole lot of money, which is just fine by me. I'm going to throw some of these back to the freighter. Oops, that's the wrong one. That's the right one. And throw that there. I'm going to put this here, because I think it was... Magno Gold, Aronium, and Grantine, whatever that is. We'll get that eventually, I'm sure. Put that there. Beautiful. Put that in there. Beautiful. Oops. Hit one too many. Uh, I need to put that here. Need to put this here because it's salvageable, technically. There we go. That looks good. Put this where it's supposed to go over here. And Herox. That's the thing I was forgetting. Herox goes here with these three. I'm pretty sure all of these make something as well. I just don't know what it is yet. Anyway, so I looked it up in between uh, last episode and this episode, and I can just throw these on and there will be no real repercussions. So it's very randomized as to what it is. So we'll test it out, what stats it gives me. The answer is very little useful anything. Unlicensed upgraded fuel pipes gives me slight upgrade to maneuverability. And that's it. Consider me underwhelmed. I'm just going to break that down and give me some of the materials necessary to make it. I have a feeling I can throw this somewhere. I just don't know where. Oh, over here, maybe. That's a good idea. Okay, and the cadmium, I know where to throw that. There we go. Perfect. And then the wiring loom. Put that here. Booyah. Oops, doodle. Cargo. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, okay, all right. That's good enough for me. But also, I need to sell some things. I forgot about it again. I'm sorry. But while I'm doing that, I guess I'm just going to end the episode. Yeah, because there's nothing else I really can do. So, 
Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and more or less doing a lot of business from my frigate. But it's good because it gets me units to then buy more stuff and get more upgrades for the frigate. And in the meantime, we're also doing some base building, which is also on the frigate, because the frigate is awesome. And we will be doing some running around for our hired help. Technically, their hired help. Uh, I'm not sure necessarily how it works or why they are hired. Especially since I didn't hire them technically directly, but indirectly, somehow, in a lot of ways. Um... I'm not sure how that all works, but we'll figure it out probably during the course of this. I hope for you.